Hey, what's going on folks? This is Misha back again. In this video, we're gonna check out that Yuta house in um, winter season and that has a lot of glass, a lot of goodness, and a lot of gorgeous views. So let's check it out. Like and subscribe down below and let's go. What's going on there? We have this long private driveway bringing us to the estate. It is situated on this incredible 5.61 acre lot. Views are absolutely breathtaking and we have this stunning home. Now, we came here yesterday. In fact, we shot this scene yesterday, but it was snowing and it was so cold out that we decided to do it again on our day two because it's beautiful outside right now. Park City looks stunning, mountain ranges, the scenery. I'm so excited. Yeah, yesterday it was, uh, I thought it looked really cool. Um, I think this house looks really cool, obviously in the sun and when it's snowing, um, but maybe we can show people best of both worlds now. Without a doubt. Now, let's come this way so we can take a look at this architectural home. Beautiful roof lines, clear story windows, walls of glass bringing natural light, houses multiple elevations, and we'll talk more about these architectural details later. Now, on my left-hand side, we have a water feature that is currently buried under snow. And coming right here, we have this bridge that protects these two car garages that we have on each side. This section also works as a carport and the same driveway turns around. That way you can pull in and pull out of the property very easily. Now coming here, we have the entry. Look at this massive glass pivot door and it welcomes you into the house. Now this two-story entry is stunning. Natural stone floors. The same stone that we saw on the exterior facade is also brought here and we're gonna see this detail throughout the property, indoor plants, this entire section is glass. In fact, that's the glass elevator that goes up to the second floor, just like this steel structural staircase. On this wing, we have the guest suites and the screening room, which we'll cover later. And now I wanna talk about this beautiful staircase design. It's bolted to the back wall, and that's how they give each one of these steps this floating effect. Then on top, we have these beautiful walnut steps glass railing and the way this glass railing is attached to this staircase this stainless steel hand railing and how it continues and goes up to the second floor this is a piece of art yeah this whole house uh, it's extremely architectural uh, from the exterior to the interior as we walk through you're gonna see a lot of different architectural details that we don't usually get to see in homes without a doubt then we have Venetian plaster walls reflecting the light throughout and I want to mention one more thing the water feature that I mentioned on the exterior actually goes underneath the driveway and cascades around the property. And we're gonna see that detail later in the tour. Overall, very impressive entry. And now let's take the staircase so we can check out the top floor. Well, so far, so good guys. Uh, very interesting features. Architecturally, it's very, uh, looks to be sound and uh, very impressive. Uh, very good indeed from the top uh, Very nice view specifically this one right here somewhere. Yeah uh, very interesting doorway very uh, Light very a lot of light. Uh, I can see that much as well. Definitely um, very uh, Very practical in the sense that it goes right into our in the middle of the house so you can pretty much branch out wherever you want to go um, very huge door, um, not really a fan of um, too openness of the door, um, it's uh, a little bit too open for me, it's huge, not, no, no mistake that, I wonder how uh, hard it can be open or how hard it's to open it, but it looks to be like okay, not, not a big deal, no big deal. Uh, overall, um, I kind of don't like the privacy in that sense here that, um, you know, I mean obviously there's not going to be a lot of walk-ins just you know hand door door to door salesmanship i don't think it's good it's going to be a thing here uh it is seems to he mentioned about as a gated community there so yeah maybe so not really um i mean it's kind of it's kind of closed here out so there is not a lot of car going in and out so but in reality um i don't know yeah yeah, I don't know about this one. So I mean, it's 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 working. Uh, it could be okay, but I don't know. 
I think I just got used to the fact that it's kind of like the doors are kind of like um, closed. So in this in this sense here, you don't really feel like kind of it's kind of like protectively kind of uh, feel. However, there is a lot of uh, room and you feel a lot of space. That's definitely it. Definitely brings that up. Definitely, definitely the case here. Um, nice the greenery. I like the greenery stuff here inside. Um, it looks to be. Um, I'm not sure 100% about the walkway. I don't think it's heated, but maybe. I'm not 100% sure about this one. It's either it's either a heated uh, walkway here or not. I'm not 100% sure on that one because it's kind of like looking. Yeah, it looks. It looks. It looks very like. Yeah, I, I would say heated. However. My, I might be mistaken. It's just, it's just uh, the way how it's located in um, relationship to the roof and stuff. They spend a lot of time on this um, stairway here. I, uh, it looks, it looks nice. It's very, it, it look, it very fits into architectural design of the house. Uh, however, I mean, it's it's totally, it's it's totally, it's different. I mean, it's not like I, I don't think I don't think it's like the same exact style. However, it uh, example like it it deta detaches from the rest of the house enough so it won't be like oh you know it's totally like you know for example wooden uh, totally wooden total out uh, so I held back the stairway there. However, this one is contemporary, very uh, stylish looking stairway. I like this. Um, yeah, very, very nice, very nice looking. However, I don't, I don't know about the specifics and safety. I uh, personally, I don't feel safe with these guys. I mean, I, I know, I see that there is like a steppy uh, little area here that can be protective. However, it's, um, yeah, I, it's just, it's just my thing. I don't like, I, I just in general don't like this type of stairs that kind of like ends up and doesn't have that specific um, middle there protected so that you lag and scroll out and definitely um, another way it's very polished for me so like sometimes I would wear like um, slippers or flip-flops or whatever uh, made out of wool or whatever that definitely becomes a slippery situation there so yeah that's the I personally don't like the stairs with the with, with no carpet in it because it, you can definitely have a situation, have a fall down situation. Because if you're not careful, enough. I mean, it happened to me, you know, I'm, and I'm not, you know, that old or anything like that. But however, that that can happen, and there's a long way to fall to this stairs. So, yeah, I mean, they spend a lot of time here. Um, so yeah, let's continue. Right off the landing, we have this beautiful piano that dresses up the space. And on the other side, we have a really nice built-in bar, all stone clad, again, facing the views. On the other side, we have some cabinetry. Then this stone wall creates some separation between the landing and the formal living room area. This is a phenomenal space, minimalist furniture, ton of natural light coming in, beautiful roof lines, ton of architectural details. And before I get into those details, I wanna talk about the specs of this home. We're looking at four bedrooms, four full, three half baths, approximately 8,000 square feet of interior space, 5.61 acre lot, and it comes with an additional 37 acre lot, which I will cover later, on the market for $29 million. Without a doubt, one of the coolest homes we've ever toured. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Damon, Dash, and Alan for making this tour possible. We're so excited to be here. Yeah, we always love coming to Utah. We always love our uh, winter episodes. We don't get enough of them, but this is our first of the year. Hopefully not our last. Hopefully it's not our last. All right, I wanna bring everybody back to the seating area. Minimalist furniture that comes with the sale of this home. Right in the center, we have these gorgeous coffee tables that fits the space really well because if you look at the walls here, room tapers off to this side and that's why this is the tennis part of the coffee tables and it kind of opens up on this side. Walls of glass facing these views. That's the front of the home. That door right there opens up to the main patio. It's an incredible space and look above us, all these roof lines. 
clear story windows, natural stone walls. And I wanna bring everybody to this side. This is where we have the floating fireplace. Goes really well with the architectural lines of this home. And here's an interesting fact, Mikey. I'm pretty sure you don't know this as well. The stone on this wall is called Serpentine Verde. In fact, all the stones throughout the house are the same stone, but they're all finished in different ways, meaning on the floors, they are brushed, so they have a little bit of a texture to it. On the walls, they are cleave-faced, so they have more of this organic kind of a rock look. And on the countertops or around the fireplaces, they have a polished finish, so they look a little bit more smooth and reflective. And that way, when you're around the fireplace, you can actually see the reflection of the fire. So cool. It's all the same stone that came from Italy. How amazing is that? Yeah, that's really cool. I like the, the kind of subtle green color and how it doesn't look green everywhere if it is the same stone, you know? Well, they're all finished in different ways. Thus, they all have different colors to them as well, but they're all in the uh, green tones. Yeah. All right, let's open up this sliding glass door so we can check out this amazing front-facing patio. First off, look at the scenery here. We got a lot of snow last night, so you have this nice even coating. But I wanted to bring everybody to this point so we can look at the architectural lines of this home. This is a very unique property. I really like these roof lines with clear story windows. Then they cantilever on the lower section. And if you look at this wall, it curves beautifully, but it's not a single wall that curves. It's actually multiple straight walls at slightly different angles, giving you this curving effect. And in between those walls, they have these linear glass inserts to bring natural light to the property. This is such a unique structure. When they're constructing a house like this, how difficult is it for them to get like this wall array that they have perfect? I can't imagine this is an easy thing. Very difficult. In fact, it took them two years to design it and six years to build it. Really? Yeah, and it was completed in 2012. And this is only one section of it. Yes, and here's where it gets crazy. Instead of building the house with a foundation that levels the home, that way you can build a straight or a flat first and second floor, the designer here, Wallace Cunningham, wanted to follow the natural slope of this land. And that's why throughout the house or throughout the interior spaces, you're gonna see multiple levels. And we're either gonna have staircases or these descending ramps taking us from the one level to another. I'm explaining this to you because if you look at the roof lines, each roof stacks over the other and you get this look by naturally sloping the entire property. I hope I made sense because this is a very important aspect of this home. This is why this property is so crazy. Mikey, look at this house from the bird's eye view. Each one of the roofs stacks on top of each other continuously drawing this beautiful S shape. It's just incredible. The fact that they got all of their measurements right. They custom designed all these clear story windows that fits every one of these little spaces and openings and managed to put it all together. It's incredible. My house off to them. I'm impressed. You said the house was built in 2012. We've, yes. seen, we've seen some very architectural homes that are built recently and it takes them a few years to settle. And like, I feel like they might settle and, and some problem areas could open up. Zero. Yeah, there's like nothing wrong with this house that we found, yeah. I haven't seen a single crack. Exactly. And this is the second property that we're touring that Wallace Cunningham designed. We toured another property in Encinitas, California. And that one was impressive, but personally, I think this is more impressive. You know, the architectural lines here. I know we've been here for a minute, but this is fascinating. Yeah, and I just love the snow. I hear you. All right. Let's go back inside, back to the formal living room area. Great volume, ton of natural light coming in. And we have another seating area on this side, four single chairs, this organic coffee table that fits the space nicely. I really like these side lamps and what a great place for you to sit down, conversate with your friends and face these incredible views. Another detail I wanna point out, these walls open up towards these views. That way, as you're sitting down here, talking to your friends, your eyes are drawn towards these breathtaking views. I know we said views so many times already, but how do you not? I mean, in fact, let me open up these sliding glass doors. I don't wanna spoil the patio yet, but look at these breathtaking views. I mean, this is insane. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Uh, I, I don't know, something about the mountains and the snow it's, it's, it's just profoundly relaxing to me. 
couldn't agree more. And we'll come back to this patio later. Now, let's go back to the formal living room because we're gonna check out the other side now. And as we are walking around, each level, floor pattern is different. You know, they're all turned to different sides. Another staircase here, back to the landing. And now let's talk about the formal dining area. This is a beautiful space that faces the views on each side. Love the volume here, ton of natural light coming in. And right in the center, we have this gorgeous stone table, seating for eight, leather chairs, built-ins on this side. Look at the angles here, stacked stone, those beams. Look at that corner right there. You have, let's see, four different clear story windows and all of it coming together, flashed beautifully to make sure it's waterproof. It's insane, Mike. It's, it's really hard to cover all the details. Yeah, and like we said, this house is like solid as a rock, you know? Without a doubt. All right, follow me this way. This is where the kitchen starts. Now it's designed in a way to make you think that it's not a kitchen as you're passing by. That way, if you're flowing from one space to another, it's just another room. But if you look closely, all the cabinetry, some of the appliances are behind these doors, and it's just different. You have the first section here, second section on this side. And uh, wow, guys, man, so far, this is interesting. So the kitchen, that the area that they're talking about, um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting house. So, well, so far, I can tell you this much. It's uh, even with these glasses, a lot of glass, you still kind of you still kind of ramp into the one hallway, you know, so like it still gives me a feeling as I was watching like almost half of this video, the whole house, like as you enter, as you enter, it, it kind of feels okay ish, but then proper all the proper like you know the whole living area kind of like guest room and then kitchen and then all this guy all this junk it's massive hallway you know it's uh, very interesting that they mentioned here the s shape type of situation going on um uh right here so I think so this is the entry of the house they are on the second floor I think so it's as you as on the second floor on the first floor so anyway the prop the pro, the, the perspective here is that you got this hallway going on and this is the whole house you know obviously there's like multiple situations where you have like a kind of boxy house kind of situation like uh, four walls you got is sort of a box and then or like a circle-ish so the other video the previous video that we watched and uh, gave our thoughts on was kind of roundy looking and then they had a feel that every single area they had a outing on the uh, like a taco and that was incredible i loved it i loved that house but this one is even if it's, it's architecturally sound and stone proof and you know the it's good, good the house is settling and so everything is fine however it still feels like a tube to me that's a interesting house it's very very uh, architecturally nice so we we saw this one house another um uh, from the same designer but um and i i see i see similarities in his design like the the, the same topic same theme like a lot of glass a lot of gray ish kind of situation very very modernized minimalistic kind of uh thing here um and you know what it's great it looks beautiful but that's definitely not my cup of tea um it's it's gorgeous house like you know i i i get it it's fantastic you know but that's just not me man i uh i do not see myself in such house like the other house in lake tahoe man that was out and that was it baby but this one is not it like i mean you you kind of come in here and then you got a tube type of feeling like this one i mean that's a room however like it's a guest room and then um this is the main room and then sort of like a guest room in there so it's kind of yeah like it's kind of talkative where do you put the where do you put the tv set on you know that's just a simple question such such locale in this house is very very like very very un, um, um, not natural but unusual I would say so you don't have that 
you know specific kind of like you know used to kind of feeling you know like i'm okay like you know with kind of like approaching from it you know like you know gotta branch out but still have like kind of like you know point of contact in the past you know what i mean like you it's it's great to experience with the designing and with the with the um you know different tastes and stuff but i mean it's a gorgeous view but you still like you know all of a sudden abrupt change still it, it doesn't like it it kind of feels alienated you know like it kind of like no you know well for me at least so um yeah and this is like kind of to be area like you know you just go yeah and then that's, yeah it is a second floor is it yeah it is a second floor so yeah you go and then the second kitchen here bathroom that's 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 a nice bathroom yeah you know like it's it's a lot of areas that um you know kind of um kind of perspective on like it's good you know like it actually fits in which is rarely there sometimes the occasion and sometimes it doesn't fit so yeah and that's oh there you go so there's the tv set right there so this is the that was like a formal living room and this is not formal living room so it's kind of in the kitcheny area it looks to be that way and that's that's pretty much it man i mean i like the area i like this situation here but um you know this this whole idea here is a little bit um out for me you know so and um yeah it's kind of a little bit too too uh too too deep for me so and it actually goes to the regular uh, living area right here so yeah i mean it's 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 not it's uh, a lot of design a lot of um yeah it's it's just like this house is just being created for just you know as a piece of art uh, living situation here i wouldn't say it's like great uh, i mean it's workable it works but you know if you give me this house for free you know i might just buy it or i might take it just because it's a real estate and uh, you know maybe i can make it as a like you know the concert hall or whatever hall like it's just personally it very not unattractive to me to live in there you know it's very cold and maybe it's just because of the winter <laughs> but not nonetheless this is um i don't know i uh, that's not my cup of tea definitely i mean this is very very business looking very business looking like literally like not not a joke this is very business looking house um you know the, the gated community uh, outside here that they're talking about this is the only kind of cozy kind of area but still very very dark very very <laughs> literally i would say batman-y looking kind of like fortress of solitude seriously this is very um yeah i mean definitely not the case for me very not the case for me so this is the outside and then they're doing some fishing um but this is interesting and that's i guess this is another house like in that area of the house um wow man no no oh definitely not dude look at that i mean this is interesting very very unusual looking but no no this this toiletry right here is no no definitely not definitely not the case for me man uh master bedroom that looks interesting that looks interesting kind of cozy ish but still a lot of stone man that's a lot of stone bedroom a lot of like you know they're gonna fireplacey sort of looking yeah it's just so modernized man it's just like too much it's like very too much situation here man and uh yeah, this, this, all that. Yeah, this, oh my God, this is the same exact thing like in another house that the, the same designer had. They also had in the floor bathroom. Oh, bath, bath, bathtub within the floor. Yeah, man, I mean, it's the same kind of type of wide, man. Same wide, a lot of how, I mean, this is gorgeous, but very cold, very, very cold, very cold. Yeah, this is very cold. But yeah man like even like i jumped through the video and i like you know if you guys if you guys want to look at it in more detail um check this out it's touring first house i mean this is um 
Ines does a lot of good jobs and uh, you know if you like this his videos like and stuff or like this but he, he does a good tours but like from my perspective uh, the thoughts video on this is that's what I do but um, dude like and my unscripted opinion is just dude, this is too cold for me man I mean I would definitely like give it to me for free or not for free like in any type of say type of shape or form 29 million dollars yeah i won't take it for free man no definitely not so oh my god man this guy again man i oh guys you know how i feel about these guys man this this is this is not this is not i have problems <laughs> i have a problem with this man this is not this is not how it's supposed to be man i personally believe in it that's my really strong belief that houses beyond regular price tag and depending on the location it's going to be depending on the location obviously medium whatever whatever but if you go beyond one million dollars you have to have proper shower tank you have to do that like dude you spend so much money just to buy this house and you get this come on you, I mean, I get it, uh, you know, but it's a, it's a so unpractical. And another, like, I mean, there is another shower head, like, it's not really, it's kind of, um, the hardware here is, uh, this one is interesting. This one is uh, unusual. But this guy, come on, man. Like, rentals for, you know, I mean, I, I, just regular rentals. I mean, it's a shower, you know shower head but like you have a million dollar price tag on your on this house even plus 29 right? and you have the shower head I, the, I i'm not sure how much it costs but for me it looks like 50 bucks you know it's it's kind of it's kind of like incredible so overall man not too happy with this house so yeah i mean that's pretty much how i roll man i mean i, I I just don't know how, how can I like what, what else can I say but yeah let's do the ramping up and um, yes yeah, see we'll see what we uh, learn so far well here you go folks man this is very very um, interesting house well but in all in all to be really really uh, frank with you I really did not like the house and uh, um, the reason for I mean it's a gorgeous house it's very sound and I'm sure there's a lot of good like you know if you guys love this house more power to you uh, but just personally this is a turning point for me because it's not really really cool it's not cozy to me at all it's just very cold it's very uh, the, the fortress of solitude kind of type of vibe it's a uh, nice you know it's very nice uh, landscape and all the gorgeous views and everything like that so however um it's not grabbing me it's not grabbing me and to be frank if you give you, you guys give that house for me for free or whatever whatever might be the case i definitely not gonna take it the reason for it is because it's just not grabbing me not only the the reason for uh, but it's uh, very cold it's uh has its own vibe it has its own you know unique style and every uh, very unique architecture however it then it's you know it's it's very it's valid it's very nice looking very nice looking all the color scheme it's great however it's very 2b to me the reason and uh, the reason for it is because it's very um it kind of narrows down just the whole one whole way for the specific house or for for the whole living area things like that so other than that it's um yeah it's gorgeous house you know, $29 million, it's a uh, um, nice, price, nice price tag for this house, um, a gated community there, I, um, the, the houses next to them, they like, looked more uh, very appealing than this guy. I mean, the architecture is fantastic on this house, it's very futuristic looking, I would say, very uh, business, very business-like architecture, very strict very uh, you know on point and not much you know going on beyond that so other than that nice house very nice but you know not my cup of tea so other than that 
Uh, nice house. O only suggestions I would say shower head. That's a big deal, dude. I mean, it's not a big deal, honestly, but when I see a house beyond even million dollars, just, you know, that like overreaching price head, you know, price tag, I, I think the, the way they go with those hardwares and shower heads and things of that nature, I think you just need to, like, they need to make a more pragmatic, more stylish, but, you know, just to put a shower head in there, it's kind of strange that, you know, the, it, the, the look and feel is like for five, or five, or uh, five, maybe like 500, not even $500 tag. You know, it's maybe like a hundred dollar tag. Uh, the price and feel, you know, look and feel for me. Uh, how overall perspective is great uh, in the sense that you gotta put a good shower head in there. So that's my take on it. And as well, I would say that would be good to have um, solar panels there. I would say that would be very pro pragmatic and program uh, programmatic, very good <laughs> to have those things in the place because there actually roof structure or like roof positioning is very very uh, unique and i think it would be very good uh, from the perspective of solar paneling and things like that so yeah it would definitely help from the perspective of a price tag and that would be really uh, economical in the sense that you can make some extra money and help out with the building utilities and things like that so but nonetheless that was just my opinion so and uh, yeah that's pretty much what i had thoughts about it so yeah, let me, know, let me know guys in the comments below what you guys think about this house and what is happening there. So, thank you once again for watching. Like and subscribe down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we can continue this conversation about this house and many more to come in conversations in the comment section below. So, thank you guys again for watching. This is Dimitri. Like and sub. Always appreciate that. And see you guys soon.